50 minute halves. You can visit us at go.gov.sg forward slash national school games to catch the live stream and uh, well, highlights of this game as well as uh, several others. As we see SSC kicking off proceedings but quickly giving possession away to uh, their opponents. 30 minute halves and if we are still deadlocked at the end of the hour mark we'll head into a two periods of uh, five minutes extra time should we still not find a winner then we'll head into a penalty shootout plenty of support for both schools as well Some huge banners and flags and uh, cacophony of voices reverberating around this uh, wonderful stadium. It's a lovely crossfield ball over to the right-hand side for SSC. Both sides will look to ward off the early jitters by keeping possession. To see a nice uh, interchange of play. Here's their number 10 on the left-hand side. Evades a challenge, puts one into the box. It falls to number, number four on the edge of the area. But a bit of a timid shot, and that's not going to trouble the Orchid Park goalkeeper. That was Ryan Shaquille with the attempt. It was well snuffed out by uh, SSC stopper. And nicely worked on the touchline by SSC. They certainly had uh, majority of the possession in the short space of time, two and a half or so minutes we've uh, witnessed thus far. A nice flowing move, an attempted through ball. <laughs> to Harith Danish. Again, sloppily given away. Good skills displayed by Mohammed Naikil. Good defending there from Azirul Azik to win the ball back for the boys in white. That's Mohammed Hazik. This is Mohammed Amirul. Nice diagonal ball out wide to Ahmad Martin, who floats it in. Didn't quite have. Uh, He couldn't really find his opponents, and uh, here we go. Good pace from Orchid Park. That was the number 15, Mohammed Akil. He almost left the SSC defense for dead there. Could that be the opening that uh, Orchid Park need to? push forward in a more attacking way. Certainly been on the back foot for the large part of this uh, opening four minutes here at Jalan Basar Stadium. Nice interchange of play. Here's another chance. Sidestepping his marker inside the box. Back to the number 10 with space. Time finds the number five. It's Mohammed Amirul. They've done uh, all the hard yards in uh, getting to the attacking third, but the finishing hasn't quite cut the mustard yet. Perhaps uh, a little bit too eager on the ball. That final touch when uh, attempting a shot on target. I'm sure. The uh, boys in white will grow in confidence. They've certainly maneuvered the ball extremely well on the touchlines. 
at passing, the accuracy has been uh, very good. Found space. Lovely ball out wide from Harid Danish. SSC have looked at the far more dominant side thus far. And it seems Orchid Park just happy to sit back and absorb the pressure. And perhaps hit their opponents on the counter. We've seen that on one occasion. A rare lapse in concentration for SSC that was uh, Ahmad Razlan. Number 11, a diminutive figure, but he's certainly uh, got plenty of skill that makes up for it. Good feet there from Mohammed Nakil. Finds Ahmad Roslan. Roslan back to Mohammed Amirul. And that's uh, Andy Rifki. He's patrolling the back line alongside uh, Shafril. Or Sharul Nizam, I beg your pardon. He has a chance now for SSC. They're in the box. It's a danger area. Can they convert? No, they can't. That's a chance gone, I'm begging. That was Ralph Khan. Yep. He knows it. That was a golden opportunity for uh, Singapore Sports School to take a very early lead here in the uh, North Zone C Division Boys Championship Final. For this year's NSG. Relentless pressure being applied, though, by the boys in white. Their intent has been uh, absolutely uh, spot on this afternoon. Here's Ahmad Roslan. To Mohammed Ilya. Pushes the ball out wide. It's a nice ball across to Mohammed Naikil. He finds uh, Ahmad Roslan. Roslan sidesteps. Couple of defenders. Finds Naikil. It does look like, uh, unfortunately, the lightning to both sides, perhaps, Orchid Park will uh, look to regroup. And uh, it would have certainly caused a little bit of a potential disruption to the sports school's uh, momentum, you would think or hope, from an Orchid Park perspective. Here we go, the resumption of play in this uh, North Zone C Division Boys Championship Final. Orchid Park eh, clad in uh, fluorescent yellow tops and black shorts and the counterparts in uh, white tops and black shorts. Poor defending from Orchid Park. They've been happy to sit back for large parts of this opening eight and a half minutes or so. The first uh, free kick has been awarded to Singapore Sports School. Not a terribly threatening position, but nonetheless, an opportunity for the sports school to apply some pressure, float this one deep into the six yard area, and have one of the forwards get on the end of it. It's uh, Andy Rifke, floats one in. In fact, he went for goal himself, and it struck uh, the upper end of uh, 
the crossbar. Arguably the uh, biggest chance. That's this. The biggest chance that the sports school has had thus far. It'd be very cool, calm, and collected on the ball. Possession football. Shape has been superb. Ball control as well. That's uh, Shafrel Ariel to Azirul Azik. That's great feet from Mohammed Hazik. I thought seemingly well defended. Mohammed Arik, but uh, a corner's been given to SSC, the first corner. Of the match for them. Let's see what they can produce from here. Whipped in to the center. A little bit of a fumble from Orchid Park keeper. But uh, was able to grab hold comfortably on the second take. That's a poor ball. An attempted diagonal ball. And now, the sports school on the charge again. A lot of bodies.
the car that seemed to get them away. And uh, once again, Cross Pot School play another attack here, but it's a lovely ball in. It's bobbing around, and this is another good opportunity. Just couldn't latch onto that. He had a bit of time and space as well. Just disallowed a couple of minutes ago. Great movement off the ball as well by the St. Paul Sport School. This is why they've been such a dominant uh, side. Of course, uh, coached by Issa Halim, the former national vice captain and midfielder. 63 caps for Singapore, a lot of experience. Uh, have uh, imparted on these young boys. Got to get the right bo ball in the box here. They haven't. Uh here at the John Ambassa Stadium. It is a corner now for the C4 Sports School. Into the near post and it's popping around and well it's cleared off the line. Oh, is that stayed out? But well, Monty Park Central School survived the scare here. Looking uh, to survive for another 10 minutes. Target and it goes out for a goal kick. Lutnaki will uh, take the goal kick once again. He's been a busy player today, the busiest of the lot with his defense. He's kept them at bay so far. side of uh, Park Secondary School time and time again here. Lots of balls into the box uh, from the right hand side. A uh, little bit too much to do it. Three defenders around him that time. Switch play here. Well defended. The 
here to lose the ball once again. Once again, and the ball. Looking at for that counter, Oki Park Secondary School. But Ross Van that time finds uh, Andy Oki. going to deliver that cross into the box. Well, you feel that something's got to give you a four uh, Singapore Sports School. Played 12 minutes yesterday. They came out of the blocks. Uh, looking for that opening goal. We've had about 12 minutes uh, today as well. 24 minutes gone on the clock. Goes directly at the goal, but it's a great save. Once again, it's just bobbing around and uh, well, it goes out looking for the corner and they do win it. Go just uh, 25 minutes on the clock, just five minutes left of the first half. Can Orchid Park Secondary School hold off Singapore Sports School for the next five more minutes? They've done so for 25 minutes. Another striking goal, it's blocked out, and will come at them once again. building with the Singapore Sports School. They had a chance that was cleared off the line. They won that opening goal just to maybe calm their nerves a little bit down or just ease that frustration. 48 goals en route to the final. An elusive uh, goal in the final here. Still Search off uh, by the Singapore Sports School. Another goal kick for Orchid Park Secondary School. It's got to be deep. It's got to always have to try and get it as far up the field but it's not a convincing kick it goes up for a throw in and uh, it will be towards uh, Singapore Sports School who quickly take it Ahmad Roseland is looking for Harif Danish Good defending at that time from Kievan Ahmad Roseland Dinesh once again. He's got three defenders around him. He's looking for the free kick, but he goes uh, in favor of Rocket Park. Secondary school. The referee wants that to be retaken. Just two minutes left to play of the first half. The Jalambasa Stadium, you're watching the National School Games C Division Boys Final. North Zone uh, Boys Final. Between Hockey 
Park Secondary School and uh, St. Paul Sports School. A minute left to play. They'll be happy uh, that they've held off uh, the sports school as they make a run here. We see a dramatic end uh, to the first half. Can they pull something out of the bag here for uh, the uh, secondary school? Got a very sound uh, Singapore Sports School defense uh, to get round though. Very organized, very disciplined uh, back four here. Play well, they've drawn the foul there at that time. They kill Ian. They get a free kick as well. Just uh, 15 seconds left on the clock here. The last thing uh, Orchid Park Secondary School would want to do is to concede, but Andy Rifke here. Is he going to go for goal? He's uh, curled it. And uh, well, he's got the goal to the displeasure of uh, Hockey Park Secondary School, but a lovely strike just before the halftime interval on that boy, number three, Andy Rifke. Lovely free kick from uh, 30 yards out. He curled it to the top right corner. Scoring the first goal for Singapore Sports School, team captain, number three. Hello and welcome back to the second half of the National School Games C Division Football Finals. It is Orchid Park Secondary School taking on the Singapore Sports School. And it's 1-0 uh, in favour of uh, the boys in white and black. Who, well, through the likes of uh, Andy Rifke. Open uh, the scoring for the Singapore Sports School on the 29th minute from a splendid free kick. 30 yards out, he curled it uh, to the top right corner of the goal. And uh, well, there was no chance uh, for the goalkeeper. And uh, they come up the blocks uh, charging once again, looking for the second goal. And this is a great opportunity, and well, he hits the post. How did that stay out? They should have been uh, easily two goals up now. Well, uh, well, it's. Uh, I think he might have just got injured. Uh, was uh, down uh, getting some attention double whammy there missing a great opportunity to put his school two goals up and uh, well in the process now also injuring himself well, he's up and about in uh, the finals I'm sure he'll want to stay on the pitch Busy as well in the second half. Orchid Park once again uh, playing the ball out in uh, possession straight away, handled by Singapore Sports School. 
as they come uh, at the opponents once again 49 goals uh, in the games so far for them an impressive uh, run in the preliminary rounds of course Opportunity uh, to go two goals up, just getting one uh, just before the interval. Looking uh, to kill the game now. Hockey Park, though, haven't really had an opp opportunity at goal. Goalkeeper hasn't really seen uh, any of the action. As they come uh, once again exploiting uh, Hockey Park from the right hand side. The ball, uh, well, I think that was meant for a cross. It, Swerved into the arms of the goalkeeper. Once again, now uh, one in midfield. It's uh, that time he finds uh, Mohamed Hazik. He did not uh, doing well there. Great determination uh, from him. So wins uh, foul there by some time here. Take it. And now uh, Rifki uh, winning it. Playing across to Nikhil Yan. It's a good ball there from uh, Ahmad Roslan. It's cleared away. Rudy Nan once again doing the defending. Going from distance, Azrael Azik. Not afraid to try from distance that time. Really, Hockey Park have to find a way at the Singapore Sports School's uh, defense. Haven't really tested Cherrigan, the goalkeeper. It's uh, been played pretty much all in one half. <laughs> Lovely ball through, he's onside and he gets the uh, second goal. And uh, well, this time it counts. He did put the ball at the back of the net in the first half, but he was in an offside position. And a great celebration from that young man. Scoring the second goal for, the second goal for his side Ahmad after 36 Aziz. minutes. And uh, once again, given uh, the ball away, are we well, going to see the floodgates now open up here? Azarul looking for Norman Azik that time just uh, the ball just slipping away from him he wins the ball back though Is it back to Sheffield Ariel who then uh, gets the goalkeeper involved the ball down the right hand side here zero To slowly build up from the back. Andy Rafiki, the goal scorer. 
Lovely ball through here. He'll look for a white shirt. And well, it's uh, the third goal. And as I mentioned, the floodgates now slowly opening up. It is uh, the number nine, Rauf Khan, who finds the back of the net for their third goal in the final. Orchid Park uh, Secondary School held them off for 29 minutes. Scoring the third goal from Singapore Sports School, number nine, Rauf Anaki Khan. Rav Khan there, as you can hear the announcer just uh, confirming the goal score. Rav Khan on 37 minutes. Just a minute before that, Mohamed Hazik uh, getting the second goal. And then, uh, of course, uh, before the halftime interval, Andy Rifki put the ball at the back of the net and uh, opened uh, the scoring for the Singapore Sports School. Orchid Park, well, really haven't uh, tested the defense of uh, their opposition. and. Well, we'll only look to now. Manage this game and uh, do not concede too many. It's been a great run of form uh, for the Singapore Sports School. As I mentioned, 39 goals in the preliminary rounds. Played five, they've won five. They've just conceded two. And a prolific goal difference of 37. And uh, then eight in the quarters and uh, semi finals. That, of course, uh, when they defeated Bowen Secondary School 5 0, and then uh, Woodland Secondary as well 4 0. That took their tally. Forty-seven in that third goal. Thank you, pardon. That third goal was their fifty-first goal in the campaign. Conceded two goals from their seven games, and uh, this is their eighth. Just looking uh, prolific in defense. Haven't really, to be fair, tested uh, throughout the tournament. It's been uh, one way traffic for them. Such a dominant side, of course. Uh, they also dominated the nationals. There won't be any nationals uh, this time around. Take pride at form being the C Division champions, C Division boys, uh, Novzo champions, that is. Zero uh, with the throw in. It's been a lively figure on the right hand side here. As they use that path uh, to attack time and time again and uh, while well, the ball unfortunately he was not able to keep that in they'll get a throw in Orchid Park and a rush to take this as well I thought well really they need to just uh, get themselves composed and uh, Down. The fans are not happy. They you can hear them in the back there. Well, maybe just a consolation goal might give them some uh, reward here just to build the confidence uh, they knew coming into this match uh, there was a bit of a mountain to climb with the <laughs> monumental task so they had to take on uh, sprint down the left hand side here just uh, determined 
put out. They'll get him through it. Take that, it will be a free kick. Thank you, pardon. Just taking out uh, their time with this. As much as uh, they can, they will try to play in the opposition's half and uh, keep them at bay control the damage uh, that they could and still well they've got to capitalize on these chances they had a free kick here it's played out quickly they have cleared the lines uh, the Singapore spot school as they go quickly here on the counter brought down by Mohammed Arik but it's uh, Three waves that play on here. So a good uh, couple of minutes here for Hockey Park. Not having uh, to soak up pressure. Good run as well. From uh, Kelly Rifke, it's 64th. Finds the back of the net, yes they do. Just couldn't uh, keep them out and well, had a possession uh, in the last five odd minutes. This is the first strike in. Well, he's got the right to celebrate the number 10. Harif Danish, four goal scorers uh, for the four goals. For the Singapore Sports School. Well, it just keeps uh, coming here. What a great. Campaign for the Singapore Sports School, led by the coach uh, Isa Halim, the former national vice captain and midfielder. As I mentioned in the first half as well, he's imparted uh, great knowledge on these young boys, uh, and uh, they've done him proud. They've had some incredible wins as well throughout the tournament en route to this final. Just keep uh, chalking up the goals. It was that 13 win over Riverside Secondary School, 13 nil win. Also uh, saw them defeated Pehua Secondary School, 10 nil. They defeated Woodgrove Secondary School, 7 nil. 4 1 against Yishun Secondary, 5 1 against Ahmad Ibrahim. Then uh, in the quarterfinals, it was uh, 5 nil against Bowen. 4-0 against, against uh, Woodlands, and it's 4-0 now against Monkey uh, Park. The disparity in the sides uh, pretty evident here in the final, fortunately. Just a class above the rest, uh, the Singapore Sports School. Uh, some great players as well previously some great national players who've uh, come through the ranks of the Singapore Sports School and I'm sure well, in the future we will see some of these boys uh, representing uh, Singapore that's what the school was set up to to draw out the best of uh, Uh, well, 
have uh, done a great job so far, the Singapore Sports School. Oh, this. So we have about ten minutes left uh, to play. There, the scoreboard Singapore Sports School 4, Orchid Park Secondary School 0. Well, they can take pride in the way they fended off uh, the opposition for the first 29 minutes. Remember, this game uh, was played yesterday, the kickoff uh, the first 11 12 minutes that was then stopped because of the lightning. Uh, and thunderstorms that prevailed over the Jalan Besar Stadium, but that was not going to stop them uh, from continuing today. It's going for distance, it hits the post. That's the second time uh, they've hit the metal work, but well, they're on the counter here, Orchid Park. Uh, Secondary school. And uh, her Loctus has been uh, the player for Orchid Park Secondary School. He's uh, run the hard yards all throughout the game. Credit to him. We get a throw in now. Just uh, looking for that goal. Can they find? Consolation goal, give the fans something to cheer about. They're so good off the ball, uh, passing movement. And, uh, I've gone the score of the third goal. Get to Mohamed Azik. Second goal. Such great composure as you can tell there that time uh, from Andy Rifki. Full score of the first one. Lovely uh, free kick winning the top left hand corner. Open the scoring for the for sports school. They'll look for him and try to get him as much into the game as they can with uh, just uh, seven minutes left here. Well, they've been uh, sort of missing in midfield at times. Uh, Park. Going from distance and well, almost uh, finding the back of the net that time. They've been uh, slightly embarrassing uh, for Luvnaki, a substitution uh, being made for. Sports School. It's a 
Hullin uh, giving uh, his players uh, a run there in the final uh, five up minutes. Just want the game to be over with now. He's uh, run his heart out in this game, as I mentioned time and time again. Can't take uh, part from that. Reluctus, of course, uh, is fighting uh, for his team. going to be the fifth goal Just cut back that time into the arms of uh, Luke Naki he's been a busy man a busy boy should I say minutes left of this match. Miguel Garcia, of course, uh, one of the two players uh, to come on in the final moments here. So bring in Morris Andrew. down if we just uh, get one more they're still hungry these uh, boys Singapore sports school not resting on their laurels uh, with a full goal lead they are hungry they have been uh, all throughout the season 39 in the preliminary stages nine in the semis and quarterfinals and then four goals now Takes their tally to 52 goals in this tournament. Another substitution uh, being made. And players uh, just getting uh, their final run of uh, their campaign. Fudil coming on, number 49. And uh, Michael Minuzo as well. They'll just uh, want to keep the ball in this half now, Orchid Park. See the tie legs of Reluctas, uh, who, as I mentioned time and time again, has uh, run his heart, heart out. Which is uh, less than a minute 
to play in the C Division Boys Final here at the John Ambassador Stadium. It is once again the Singapore Sports School who put more pressure towards these final moments, as I mentioned, still hungry for that goal as they have been uh, all throughout the tournament. 13-0 was their big, biggest victory. So had a 10-0 victory. And, uh, well, they can uh, take a lot of pride in the way they have uh, conducted themselves as well. Uh, Oki Park uh, Secondary School you know, can say, well, they survive here with conceding uh, just four goals. Not the way uh, they would have wanted this final to turn out, I'm sure. Unless they've had the fans and teachers turn up to support them. And wholeheartedly as well, so it was great to see. Uh, should be the final uh, kick of the match. The clock there, you can see, hitting the 60 minute mark. We're going to see one last goal here. We're in a corner. this corner to be taken you see that just two goals uh, the whole tournament as well Singapore Sports School as they last, uh, launch one last attack here well header goes wide to the relief of uh, the boys in yellow the referee uh, should blow his whistle here anytime They'll be happy to hear that whistle. Orchid Park Secondary School, Singapore Sports School. Well, as I mentioned time and time again, a great tournament. And uh, there it is, the C Division Boys North Zone Champions. This game uh, was played over two days with a disruption. No thanks to the weather.